I need you to chill out. Oh, what's up? Y'all having a picnic? Hey, what's your name? Don't care. Get out the road. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies see the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that likes the dark, so that you can hold it up. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that lets you know to call your brother son. The story that you've begun, the promise of what's to come, and I will remain a soldier to the war. Come on, come on. Chop, chop, chop. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are playing Far Cry 5, and you're probably thinking to yourself, Far Cry 5 Season 1, Episode 1, what is this? We've already seen this. I'm doing a reboot of the series because the last time we published or posted a Far Cry 5 video was months ago, and the time in between these episodes is months. So I just finished recording the season finale, not even the season finale, just the finale to Outlast 2. I beat it this morning, or like 40 minutes ago. It's two in the afternoon but uh, excuse me but still we finished that game and it's time to move on so the next two games oh i'm still playing shadow of war by the way the next two games that we're gonna move on to we're rebooting far cry 5 and we're gonna continue our state of decay 2 game so i'm gonna try and run these three series at the same time doing daily uploads still so welcome back to far cry 5 and we are going to start up a new game why did it bring me into this Okay, whatever. Oh, a bunch of y'all were asking me about my gamer tag. Here you go. I'm going to show you right now. There's my gamer tag. Mikey3001. Don't ask me why that's my gamer tag. It's just my dad made it Mikey3000 when I was like nine, when I first got my Xbox 360. Then I got an Xbox One and I changed it to 3001 for some reason. And then I got an Xbox One X and I just kept it the same. So, that's my gamer tag. If any of y'all want to add me and play something sometime, just go ahead and hit me up. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, here we go. New game. We're going to play on normal difficulty because I'm not a psychopath and I'm not going to play on hard because I pretty much already suck at normal difficulty. And let's go ahead. We are a man. Please confirm you will be able to create your character again when Duchess Island will be liberated. Say less. Overwrite save data, yes. Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. What did somebody record this shit on their phone? They were different, religious, militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The quality on that is amazing. Look at that shit. started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. He looked right at me. We don't know what he's capable of. He didn't even say shit. He just looked right at me. Nigga turned around and grabbed me. Not even me, just the person recording. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Well, that looks violent. Feels weird. I can feel that in my eyes. Ugh. Wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Then what the hell was I just watching? Crossing over the hand bay now. Oh fuck! There he is. Crazy motherfucker. It's a big ass statue. We're officially in Peggy Country. How much longer? Just long enough for you to change your mind. 
so we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Sage, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call. Your laws are pretty stupid. White horse to dispatch, over. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. This man's name is Earl. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four over and out. All right, so we got Sheriff Whitehorse on the right and the Marshal on the left. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P E G. Peggy's is what the locals call. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. You know, they're looking the person in the front right, his name is Pratt, apparently. We're here. Compound's just below. This place is ominous as hell. Why would you want to come here? This man is not listening to shit anybody's telling him. Right, Roger that. Do you see that? This man has a flamethrower, and all of these niggas are strapped up. Yeah, see. You still there? They're just waiting. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the talk. Got it? Got it. Rookie! Alright, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! This man said got it like a little bitch. Who's in charge here? Him or Sheriff Whitehorse? He said, yes, sir. I'll follow all your rules. Oh, my movement speed is hella slow right now. Accessing new vehicles at any garage in the world. Okay. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Yeah, I don't think they care. Everybody that I've seen so far. Oh shit. Everybody that I've seen so far has a gun in their hand. Everyone. I got um subtitles turned on because y'all know already that I talk and they just closed the gate. I have subtitles turned on because y'all know I talk a lot. I would move faster, but this is the fastest this game is letting me move right now. Oh, Marsha. When we do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on Marshall. We will not let them. Marshal, will you chill out? Or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sure. There will be no more suffering. Marshall, shut up. 
Joseph C. Oh my God. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, you idiot. You to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are. The locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come for me. Okay, yep, see that. Now there's like seven people in between me and him. Okay, buddy. Believe what you will. What is he doing with his hands up? the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts say, "Come and see." Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was white horse. The tattoos are kind of fire. Soundtrack goes hard. I'm not gonna God lie. Will not let you take me. Them little notes. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Say less. Sometimes it's the best thing to do is to walk away. I saw a video that said if you don't cuff him for like two minutes, the game actually ends, and that's one of the three endings you can get. And I tried it before, it's actually pretty cool, it does end like that. Let's go. Come on, you're coming with me. Walk the cult leader to the helicopter, the warrant. Alright. I wanna open the door? Thank you. And now they are pulling up in trucks. Can I look behind me? No, I can't. That's cool. You wanna know why? Cause plot. I don't think they want us to leave with him. Look, look at him. Look at him. He looks like he wants to shoot me right now. They could easily overpower us if they tried. There's like 70 of them. There's five of us. It's four of us. I'm a I'm ordering you to stand back. Shut up, Marshall. Nobody cares, obviously. Look, they're throwing shit at you. Nobody respects you here. game is wild but will still forever be one of my favorite games look this dude is just singing and that person on the front there just jumped into the propeller of the of the helicopter killed themselves to stop the helicopter so that they could set him free When I said Outlast 2 was a mix of this game and the original Outlast, you're going to see why. The cult shit goes crazy, and it's all based around religion. Some people's religious practices are like, you got to respect it, but like at a certain point, when it goes too extreme, it's like, what are you doing, bro? Come on. You can't, you can't take it that seriously. This man is still singing. Can you let go of my hand, please? Somebody there, please. I told you that God wouldn't let you take me. 
Please relax. Your big ass glasses have itself. You do not need glasses that large. Dispatch. Everything is just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Okay, so we flew in blind, and even the people that we were working with were working with him. We get to have fun here. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. I'm not religious. So I don't know what any of the shit that he's talking about means. He said the first seal has been broken and the collapse has begun. Um, I'm just gonna assume. Harbingers of Doom, asshole! We came here to arrest you because you're kidnapping people. Oh hell no! Yeah no. Yeah okay, character. Whatever your name. What is my character's name even? He's just watching everybody get taken. Okay, he tried to help her. Oh, well, we're gonna die. Nigga! He left and didn't even try to help me. Didn't look back, just ran. Just ran. Press A. Got you. I'm out of here. You couldn't have done that like two minutes ago? Squiggly squid. Makes you harder to hit. Makes you harder to hit. Squiggly squid. Squiggly squid. I'm not gonna hit. Squiggly squid. <laughs> Makes you harder to hit. It's a fact. It's not even an opinion. It is a fact. Oh, okay. Gets hit anyway. Hoop! I really thought I'd be able to get out of there without getting shot. Nope. Stealth. Alright. The detection meter fit. Yeah, it fills up as enemies spot you. If it's full and flashes, you've been detected. When close enough and undetected to an enemy, press right stick to perform a takedown quietly. Got you. The only reason it would tell me that is if, yep, there's a person up here. Alright, say less. Watch this one. I'm about to club this nigga over the head. Put that shit down! Oh! Oh, he had a gun. Give me that loot his body let me loot his shack real quick anything in here yep there's a bat let me get that grab the bat dude we are being chased hurry up anything else anything else okay i can hear them getting closer i'm out of here i'm out of here i can hear them screaming not even screaming just yelling swap weapons okay left bar Alright, I can throw my melee weapon with left trigger. I gotta get used to playing this game again. Got you! Uh huh. They didn't see me. Okay. No way out. Meet the marshal at the trailer house. Alright, I gotta meet him up here. This has been so long since I played this game years probably actually like one year not even actually come on what am i saying i said years it feels like years though can you relax damn this thing was ready he was waiting for someone to come in here so i thought they got you check the room rook that tends to be the uh the thought process when you leave someone for dead I would assume that they grabbed me as well, but you know, you could have stuck around and helped, jackass. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. F fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. Oh, say less. 
Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take up the <laughs> Okay. He said we're gonna come back here with the goddamn National Guard. Okay, well, you came here as a U.S. Federal Marshal, and they still tried to kill your ass. So what do you think is going to happen if you bring in more people that they don't respect? Huh? Idiot. You're not very smart. How much ammo do I even have? Not that much left. Yep, get back. Let me get in, let me get in, let me get in. Oh, I thought I hopped out on accident. And now my ammo is unlimited, apparently. So what's up? So what's up? So what's up? So what's up? I missed every single one of those shots. No. Thank you, but no. Wait, press B to lean out. I'm not finna shoot some deer. He said, fucking Nancy. Hey, buddy. Oh shit. And they're following us. The truck is on fire. That, that may or may not be my fault. I'm just gonna blame him. What the hell? And now they're in front of me. These guys, there's only two of us. Why are they sending all these trucks after us? I need you to chill out. Oh, what's up? Y'all having a picnic? Hey, what's your name? Don't care. Get out the road. Why is this place so fortified? Damn cows. Come on, shoot the driver, shoot the driver, shoot the driver. No, that's cool. Anybody behind us? Nope, we're good. There's a shit ton of people in front of us. Okay, I'm, I must be shooting barrels or something on accident because I'm pretty sure my gun does not shoot explosive ammo. Yep, get off the road. What is that sound? Yep, okay, yeah, we get that one here. <laughs> the mission was just survive. I didn't even see that till the last second. Not go anywhere, just just survive. The soundtrack is fire. And he left me again. Nah, if this man's ever in trouble, I'm letting him die. He left me for dead twice now. Nobody fucking cares. That's why they hit you in the face with their gun. Nobody cares what your title is out here, apparently. Please don't touch me. He just took me downstairs somewhere. And I'm tied up. We get to have fun here. Welcome to the attack of the plot. That shit means what it means the roads have all been closed it means the phone lines have been cut it means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley but mostly it means we're all fucked okay goddamn collapse they all think the world's coming to an end now Okay, so he's not one of them. Waiting for it for years. 
waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. Smartest thing. Look at this man's eyebrows. Would just be to hand you over. Please don't. At least give me a gun if you do. Why are you so close to me, dude? Back up. Thank you very much. You're my new friend. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. Okay. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll Got see you. If we can unfuck this situation. I'm gonna add that term to my um my dictionary. Unfuck is now a word. All right, a glimmer of hope, change clothes, say less. Please make some choices before we proceed to the character customization, okay. White dude, black dude, white dude, Asian dude, Asian dude, white dude, black dude, white dude. Okay, so it's one of these two and they look the same, what the hell. Fine, this one. I'm not that dark. I'm like that. All right, we get to choose a hairstyle, which come with automatically selected hairlines. Okay, let's go. No, what is this? This dude looks like he's 50 years old. Look at that, no. We'll go with this, this is the closest. Please confirm you will be able to create your character again when Duchess Island will be liberated. Got you, lower body. Okay, I can change clothes. Classic green. Now let's go with the blue. Upper body. We could either go with a button up. Why would I do a button up? It's hot as hell out here. Let's do. Let's go with blue sleeveless, but let's change the bottom to brown cargos. Headwear. I don't even care. Let's just pick a hat. Handwear. Uh, you got the skeleton gloves. Red. That's disgusting. Black. Nah. Bandages. What am I, Rock Lee? All right, um, skeleton, let's go. Confirm. Okay. Where do I go? Oh, through here, I am an idiot. Dutch, you don't mind if I steal your stuff, right? All right, what is, what is this? All right, I'm not about to read. Just like in the Outlast playthroughs, I'm not about to read all these long ass documents. I am, uh, I am too impatient for that. That is not my play style. Check, check. Good. You found something that fits. Everything fits I didn't me. I did properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I could I tell. It was at the top left of my screen. What's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want him back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. You think I already haven't looted your entire damn bunker? That is hilarious. I, I went through about two or three rooms before I even came to talk to you. What is this? Hope County map. Okay, a key. And a gun. Got you. Hope County. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're gonna read these just for the sake of the story. I don't know if I read them in my original season one, 
but I'm going to read them now. Just so y'all can get some essence as to what's going on here. Joseph Seed, the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as a modern day Noah. Thanks. No, thanks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's started the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when his prophecy comes true. That guy's an absolute nut job. I said absolute? Oh my god, absolute. What What word is absolute? Whatever, fine. Faith, the siren. What is this, Borderlands? Don't know how she's related. Seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to becoming one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. Got you. Alright. John Seed, the Baptist. Youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic. In charge of recruiting for the cult. Marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Grade A psychopath. Alright. And last but not least, Jacob Seed, the soldier. Oldest brother of the Seeds in charge of training their militia up in the Whitetail Mountains. Only thing he believes is a sacrifice, no, is sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about how people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of monster wolves up north. The cult calls judges. Okay, so from what I gather from that, these three are brothers. And she just like came from somewhere. So like, look at the lines. These three are all linked. And then like, she is just like connected to him somehow. So she's not part of the family. She's part of the quote unquote family. Plot is wonderful. We love plot. Plot is great. Alright, hold up. Where do I go? This way? 